Up for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. Dental bill dilemma, a Pawtucket man pays his bill in full and even has the receipt to back it up. But when the loan company kept demanding he owed them more, he turned to problem solver Susan Hogan for help. If you don't have dental insurance, you know how expensive a major procedure can be. But would you pay double for it? Of course you wouldn't. But a Pawtucket man says he almost had to until he called 12 for action. Louis LaFort says he always pays his bills on time, never been in debt, and has a high credit score. But now at age 87, a dental bill mix-up was about to ruin his good credit. I don't like to have bad credit. I don't have it and I don't want to start it now, you know. A severe tooth infection brought Lewis to a local dentist in September. He was told he would need a full set of dentures at a cost of $4,800. He filled out paperwork for a loan with GE Capital Care Credit. But Lewis's son convinced his dad not to take out a loan, but instead pay the dentist in full, which he did and has a receipt as proof. But one month after the dental procedure, Lewis got a bill from GE Care Credit. They said that uh, the, they had already sent the money to the dentist and that he had entered an agreement with them and he was to pay them. Lewis said the dentist even wrote a personal note to say he paid his bill with a check and said, quote, we gave the credit back to Care Credit. But week after week, the bills piled up and Lou says attempts to settle this billing dilemma between his dad and GE's Care Credit failed and eventually his account went into collections. Can't seem to get any headway. No matter what you say, it's no, you owe the money and you, you have to pay it. That's when the LaFortes called 12 for action. Uh, I felt as though I had reached a, uh, a total impasse. Uh, no matter what I did, what I said, what I wrote, it didn't matter. We contacted GE Care Credit. Within a matter of hours, Lou got a call and an apology and a promise from GE Care Credit that he owes them nothing. And a spokesperson for GE Care Credit tells us that if a patient pays the practice instead of sending in a payment to them, the practice should then send care credit payment immediately. Now, privacy reasons prevent the company from actually telling us the exact reason for the problem, but assured us Louis LaFort's account has been fully resolved. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm Problem Solver Susan.